Hello students, welcome back to the last video of this playlist. In this video, we will be solving question number 10. The last question of one of the most recent past paper of Pure Mathematics 2, which is the May 2024 regional paper. Okay, so let's get started with question number 10. Okay, at first you can see a figure, figure 1. So figure 1 shows a sketch of part of the curve C with equation y equals to 9x minus x squared over 2 square root of x, where x is greater than 0. So this is the sketch of curve C that has been shown in figure 1. Okay, the point P is the stationary point on the curve C. The point P, it is basically a stationary point on the curve C. Fine. So part A here is asking to find using calculus the x coordinate of point p okay so using calculus we have to find out the x coordinate of point p so from the figure we can see that point p is basically a turning point or you can say it's it's a stationary point so since it's the stationary point so we know that in in the stationary point the gradient of the curve it is basically zero dy over dx it is zero okay so that means we have to differentiate the given equation of the curve to equate dy over dx equals to zero for that let's simplify this given equation of the curve 9x over 2x to the power half make the power visible negative x squared over 2x to the power half okay so y equals to 9 over 2 this is the coefficient and x over x to the power half so one the power will get subtracted so one minus half it is basically half and there the coefficient is half for the second term so x squared the power is 2 2 minus half it is basically uh, 3 over 2 okay now differentiate the equation of the curve dy over dx it is equals to 9 over 2 times half then x to the power half minus 1 basically we subtract 1 from the power okay at first we multiply the coefficient of the variable with the power of the variable that's why 9 over 2 times half and then we subtract 1 from the power of the variable that's why half minus 1 okay then same goes for the second term so negative half times 3 over 2 x to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 okay so dy over dx would be 9 over 4 x inverse half x inverse half negative 3 over 4 x to the power half this is dy over dx okay so we can make it more uh, simplified like this 9 over 4 square root of x x inverse half is basically square root of x in the denominator and we can write this as 3 square root of x over 4 okay so point p is the stationary point so at p dy over dx equals to 0 so let's write the equation uh, 9 over 4 square root of x 9 over 4 square root of x minus 3 square root of x over 4 3 square root of x over 4 equals to 0 okay now multiply both sides by 4 square root of x so that the denominator gets eliminated so you will have 9 there minus if you multiply by 4 square root of x 4 4 cancels out but square root of x multiplies this square root of x to become just x so we will get x equals to 3 at the point p okay so we got the x coordinate of point p using calculus that it is 3 fine okay next is part b here the question says the finite region r shown shaded in figure 1 is bounded by the curve c the x axis and the line with equation x equals to 1 okay let's have a look on the figure 
So in figure one, we can see the region R, the shaded region R. It is bounded, bounded by the X axis, the line X equals to one, the particle line X equals to one and the curve C, right? So we need to find in part B, the question is asking by using calculus, calculate the exact area of the region R. Okay, we need to find out the area of this region R. Okay, so definitely, since the question has said we have to use calculus, so definitely we will use integration to find out this area, right? So to get the area of region R, we need to integrate the curve within definite integral, indefinite in definite integral. So to integrate in definite integral, we need to get the upper limit and the lower limit. So lower limit is definitely x equals to 1, but the upper limit is unknown. So upper limit is the x value where the curve is crossing the x axis. So for part B, we need to find out the upper limit at first. At the x axis, at the x axis, y equals to 0. It is intersecting the x axis. So the equation, there is 9x minus x squared, 9x minus x squared over 2 square root of x, this will be equals to 0. So 9x minus x squared equals to 0. Now we can take x common. So you will get 9 minus x equals to 0. So either x equals to 0 or x equals to 9. So the upper limit is basically, it's on the positive x-axis, so definitely, definitely it will be 9. So area of the region R. It is integration from x equals to 1 to 9 of the equation. The equation, it is 9x, 9x minus, uh, equation of the curve, that is 9x minus x squared over 2 square root of x dx. Okay? Okay. So now, uh, simplify it. Simplify the equation of the curve. 9 over 2x to the power half. So, Upper limit is 9, lower limit is 1. 9 over 2, x to the power half, and then minus 9 over 2, x to the power half, 9 over 2, x to the power half, negative half of x to the power 3 over 2, negative half of x to the power 3 over 2, negative half of x to the power 3 over 2, dx. Okay, now just integrate in definite integral. So in integration, we add 1 with the power. So half plus 1, it is basically 1.5. 1 1.5 1 .5 is 3 over 2. And then we use the new power to divide the coefficient. So 9 over 2, divide 3 over 2, x to the power 3 over 2. Then same goes for the second term. So x to the power 3 over 2 plus 1, there is 1.5 plus 1, it is 2.5. So that will become 5 over 2. And then use the new power to divide the coefficient. So negative half divide 5 over 2. Upper limit is 9, lower limit is 1. Okay. So 9 over 2 times 2 over 3. So 2, 2 cancels out. So 9 over 3 is 3. 3x three to the power 3 over 2 minus half times 2 over 5 half times 2 over 5 it is 1 over 5 x to the power 5 over 2 the upper limit is 9 lower limit is 1 now just substitute the limits so 3 square root of 9 whole cube Power 3 over 2 can be written as square root of 9 whole cube, negative 1 over 5 square root of 9 whole to the power 5 minus 3 plus 1 over 5. Just put the limits. That's it. So square root of 9 is 3. 3 cube is 27. So 27 times 3, it is 81. So 81 minus uh, 3 to the power of 5. This is basically 243 over 5. 
243 over 5 and then negative negative 3 plus 1 over 5 negative 3 plus 1 over 5 now just calculate the value you will get the area so 81 minus 243 over 5 minus 3 plus 1 over 5 so this is basically 148 148 over 5 unit squared this is basically the area of the region r and that's what part b of question number 10 has asked for okay and that's the end of the may 2024 pure mathematics 2 regional paper fine